Good morning everyone, welcome back to a new vlog. I haven't picked up the camera in a while, I literally say this every time. Uh, hello. <laughs> um, but I'm off work for two days and I thought I would just kind of take you along with me for as much as possible. In Wales we are out of our lockdown so we can kind of go out and about places again, we can meet up I think outside, like I can go for food with like three other of my friends which is really exciting so today is thursday um and i'm actually off for a meeting this morning which is to do with a job um a bit random nothing too serious but hello <laughs> nothing too serious but it's just i'm going for a meeting with this guy um so i'm not gonna say too much but yeah i'm quite excited so i think it's gonna take me about 20 25 minutes to get this so i'm gonna leave in a minute i've been up since about eight i've had a coffee i've had some toast i've done my makeup i've got dressed i have a few other things to do today which is quite exciting so later on i've got a house viewing so if you've been following me for a while or you've watched my videos throughout this year i've talked a little bit about wanting to either rent or buy a house um within the next year and I was looking towards the start of the year and through lockdown a little bit. I've been to view a couple of places but wasn't really that keen. Um, things have changed within work to do with my hours. So I kind of spoke to a, another mortgage advisor about my affordability and how it had changed since last time. Um, so obviously I can afford less because my hours have basically been cut. But I'm working more hours up till Christmas. Um, and then I don't really know what's going to happen in the new year. You know, I could be in a different job or my hours could go up again so i'm still going to view a couple of properties just to get, get an idea of like what's still going up on the market so i'm going to view a house later on i think that's about is it, no i want to say it's either 12 or 2 i can't remember um and then i'm going to get my nails sorted out at half three finally don't really know what else i'm going to do my mum's off this week so i'll probably just see what she's up to she's coming with me to the house viewing but and then i've got a few other things to do tomorrow but i'll update you guys about that later who is texting me i haven't really caught up with you guys in a few hours um it's now 20 to 3 me and my mum have just got back from a house well yeah a house viewing um the meeting this morning went quite well it was just really casual um don't really know what's gonna come from it but we shall see and then come home for a bit pick my mum up obviously from the house and then we went to view a house i didn't take you guys with me because imagine if i like actually wanted to buy it and then you guys would, like see where it is that's a bit creepy i don't want to die um but yeah it was it was okay but it was actually quite small probably too small for what i need and especially for the price it was up for um, I don't think it's worth that at all. Went to put some diesel in my car and just got home. My nails um, are at half three, so I've got about like half an hour or so just to chill and then I'll pop down to town. Um, and then I think I might come back later and do a little bit of editing or I might edit now. I don't know. I need to have a tidy up to be honest and catch up on some like Instagram comments, um, check my emails, a few bits and bobs like that and then i think i might be seeing jack later so also i have the new iphone 12 pro i had an iphone xs before but i had this i got this last week it came um and i'm really liking it camera quality is much better better battery better storage and yeah it's just nice to have a, a fresh new phone this case is from burger i was sent over some gorgeous cases from them I'm not sure if I have a discount code or not, but if I do, I'll try and pop it in the description. But their cases are fab, and I got a screen protector from them as well, so definitely recommend checking those out if you're looking for a nice phone case. I've just parked up to go and get my nails done. What's the time now? Well, it's literally only half three. Um, but I really don't know what to get. I've favourited a few things from Pinterest. So I don't know whether to go like for my normal kind of square coffin shape or do like an almond slightly rounded shape because i've never really had that before but i don't know if i'm gonna like it so i'm gonna ask kat what she thinks maybe film a little bit but these are my little gross nails before this is like the longest my nails have ever been without any acrylics on it and that i've not bitten them so 
Go me. I've <laughs> not long, I say not long got home. I got home like half an hour, 40 minutes ago. I've just been sat downstairs watching, um, what's the program with Gordon Ramsay in the kitchens? Like the nightmare, kitchen nightmare, something like that. Um, and I got a little bit too into it um, and I need to make some food but these are my nails this is what I went for and I just need to fake tan later tonight and then wash it off in the morning but it's about half five I'm gonna go down and make some food I think I might make some sort of pasta if we've got any like pesto um, or if not maybe some sort of wrap I'm not really sure maybe like toast not toast the wrap um bake the wrap a little bit i'm not sure i'm just gonna have a little look or have a little google on what i can make i don't really want to just put like chips and i don't know or like croquettes or waffles and some sort of meat in like it's just really basic so i think i'm gonna do some of these wraps that we've got they're like the herby tortilla what am i saying they're basically like more herby and they've got more flavor to them um, but I think I'm going to do like two wraps, um, do some pesto, maybe a little bit of hummus, um, I think we've got some chicken and stuffing actually, like I'm just, I don't even, no, stuffing and pesto is not going to go is it? Um, I have a can of Pepsi left so I'm just going to drink some of this, I haven't had Pepsi in a while, I tend to just drink like water, um, I have my coffee in the morning, sometimes I'll have a cup of tea throughout the day or in the evening, um, and then I'll just drink water, or sometimes I'll have like squash, or then if I'm out and about I might get like a drink, but Jack brought this over the other day when he had food. So, oh my god, the sugar's in this. I don't really know why I didn't just vlog kind of when I was making it, but I was too engrossed in like what I was going to put in it. Um, but basically I did two small wraps with a little bit of pesto spread over the middle of it. I then put some of the couscous rice stuff in it that we had left over. I used some of the chicken breast, uh, seasoned that all a little bit and then grated cheese on the top. And then I've kind of rolled them up and I popped them in the oven for about 10 minutes just to make a little bit crispy and warm it all up. I don't know how it's going to taste but should be okay. Um, but yeah, I'm going to sit here, wait for that. Um, and watch that program I was on about. It's called Kitchen Nightmares, I think, with Gordon Ramsay. And this episode is actually really funny. Um, it's quite interesting to see, I don't know, the behind the scenes in kitchens and stuff. And I'll see, like, I suppose what they're doing wrong and what he can help with. I'm joined by my little baby boy Bailey and Theo in the back there. Mwah. I've literally just turned the camera on and was about to walk back to the bathroom. So I'm like gonna start hyperventilating and there's a spider. Oh my god. Where the fuck did you come from? Hmm. I need to go find the Hoover. Okay, now that that's sorted out, that kind of made me a bit sick to my stomach. I hate spiders so much. Ugh. Oh my god. You know when you like just feel like there's one on you? Ugh. So I'm going to take all my makeup off um, and I thought I would just show you guys like what I use. So I have a shelf in like our bathroom cabinet and it's a bit of a mess. It's literally got everything in there like all of my tans, um, most of my skincare like moisturisers and serums and obviously like makeup is all in my bedroom in my drawers but I do have some serums like masks, uh, some creams, cleansers, hair stuff, tan, um, teeth stuff all in the shelf and it's a bit of a mess but when I've got like a full face of makeup on like I mean I, yeah I'd say I've probably got a full face on today um then I use the Clinique Take the Day Off Balm I really want to try the Elemis one um but I feel like they're going to be like the exact same thing and I'm pretty sure that one is more expensive than this and um my friend Liz works for Clinique so she gets her staff shop which is great for me so I'm kind of nearly halfway through this i've had one of these pots already and used it but it's really great for 
literally just use it on a full face of makeup just to melt it all off and then I go in with like a wet flannel and cleanse that all off then I tend to go in with some sort of like foaming cleanser then sometimes I'll do an exfoliating wash like use an exfoliator then I'll do like a toner or micellar water or something just to get the excess off because I'm not being funny but you don't realize how much makeup you've actually got on your face until you'd cleanse multiple times like I don't know how I used to think using one makeup wipe to take a full face of makeup off was okay. If you guys are doing that, this is your PSA that that's not okay. Um, you should not be doing that. Uh, your skin will thank you if you actually start using a proper cleanser um, and doing at least a double cleanse to try and get all the gunk out of your skin and then I say at least try and do maybe like a face mask or a deeper kind of exfoliating cleanse at least once a week um, you don't want to exfoliate every day because that can kind of irritate your skin maybe kind of take away a layer of skin that is fine it's only the dead skin cells that kind of tend to sit there um, over time so once a week for like a good exfoliant is absolutely fine my fingers And then you can see this. Oh, I should have put my hair back more. You can see it. I was taking on my makeup off. And now I'm gonna go in with like a foaming cleanser. And I've got a few different ones of these. Um, I've just run out of my Dermalogica one. This is the daily microfoliant that's like a powder. Um, you mix it with water and then it turns into like a nice exfoliator. I really like this. And then I've got the Hydro Mask Exfoliant as well, which is like a face mask that you kind of rub in, leave on and then wash off. But I did have the gen like the foaming gel. I think I've just run out of that. An exfoliant that's actually really nice. So I don't really use this often, but I might actually use it today because I haven't exfoliated in a, a few days. Um, but it's the Benefit Smooth It Off Cleansing Exfoliator. This is really, really gentle, but I feel like they're discontinuing this. Um, but I have quite a lot left, so I've got quite a lot of like exfoliant ones. I did have another cleanser somewhere, but this was one that I was sent from Good Molecules in like a PR package. This is the Rose Water Daily Cleansing Gel, a cleanser to balance and brighten your skin. Kind of just like a basic cleanser, helps to cleanse your skin more, get any excess makeup off. I think I might just use a little bit of this and then maybe a little bit of that after and then I'll talk about serum and moisturiser. I do kind of want to try like some sort of cleansing brush or like I'm really intrigued by the Ferreros. I see a lot of people use them and I have been tempted to buy one um, but they are quite pricey. My skin will go quite red when I do this obviously because I'm rubbing my face make sure you get your ears if you've put a lot of makeup on your ears and then before I kind of dry off or anything I'm just going to use a little bit of this kind of over my nose and my chin area so this is like a really really fine exfoliant it's got tiny tiny white beads rather than like the black beads that you'd usually see so you can hardly feel it but it does help to just cleanse that little bit deeper and exfoliate any dead skin cells that are hanging on and it smells really nice too so that's basically like a treble is that what you call it three three times a cleanse but obviously i've got a little bit of mascara kind of left under my eyes so then i'll go in with like a cotton pad and some sort of micellar water or toner i've actually run out of like the main stuff that i use so my mum does have some things that are really nice this is um the lancome bifacil non-oily instant cleanser for sensitive eyes she's also got the tonic comfort which is a really nice toner so kind of anything like that um there's also the clarins instant eye makeup remover these are things obviously i can get from work at the moment this actually leaves my skin feeling really really smooth as well this is the extra kind of cleanser so i'll just go over my whole face really gently over my brows just because there might be any gel stuck in there and then really carefully just wipe over my lashes behind my ears along my jawline and then 
then carefully without trying to get it in my eye I'll go under you know there's still stuff coming off after all that cleansing so make sure you double cleanse kids the main one that I do tend to use because it's always by here is the Biolumin C Serum by Dermalogica. This is age smart apparently. Um, helps to brighten and firm the skin, reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, even though I don't particularly have those, it's just prevent preventative. This is where I tend to keep most of my skincare. Um, I have a lot of like sample -y type things, things I've been sent, things I've had in my glossy boxes. Um, so I keep like little bits in there, I've got my eye creams, but some moisturisers that I do recommend um, is the Clinique Moisture Surge Normal one, and then I really like the Overnight Mask, this is something to use in the evening if you need a bit of more an intensive moisturiser. This one is really, really lovely from Avant, it's the Hyaluronic Vitamin C Moisturiser, this smells and feels amazing. Um, this is Glossy Box's own skincare range. So this is the 3-in-1 moisturiser, plumps, primes and protects. I really like this one as well. I've had this one, I think this was in a Glossy Box on my calendar. I, I'm not really a fan of this one. I think this, if you've got really, really dry skin maybe, because my skin's quite normal, this is quite thick and it smells a little bit weird. But if you've got really, really dry skin or you suffer badly with your skin, um, apparently this is a good brand Then I've got the benefit weightless moisture. This is really nice nice and hydrating and fresh That one is like a bronzing one doesn't particularly do much for the skin, but just kind of gives it a little bit of tan uh, You've got the Clinique jelly. This was just in a gift and then this one's quite nice as well This is from good molecules a silicone free priming moisturizer, but I do tend to reach for um either the Avant one, the Glossy Box, or the Moisture Surge at the moment. Good morning. Um, I thought I was going to get up a lot earlier today. Um, I'm pretty sure my mum got up around 8 o'clock and I here to get up, so I kind of like woke up a little bit. Then I think I drifted off back to sleep and I'm pretty sure maybe I had an alarm set for 9. That scared the shit out of me because on this new phone it's really loud and I can't work out like how to adjust it. It's just gone 10, kind of woke up about 10. I've just showered off my fake tan, although it's pretty much not on my face, but it's on my hands. Um, and I don't know whether you guys remember me saying that I haven't really scrubbed it all off properly. Um, so there's a couple of tiny little like areas where it doesn't look as smooth, where maybe there's a little bit of tan from last time left. So learn your lesson and scrub it all off properly before you reapply it. But this is the tan that I use, and I actually really like this. It's the Sun Kissed self tan mousse ultra dark vegan cruelty free contains some ultraviolet to intensify the color 95 percent natural formula so if you guys have seen these this is the ultra dark it's not like super super dark but it smells really nice i find that it comes off like quite gradually and not really like flaky and it doesn't look like tiger bread um and yeah the color is quite nice so i slept in this since i think it was about 10 half 10 i put it on last night and obviously i've just woken up at 10 so it's like 12 hours but oh well but yeah this tan's really good and super affordable as well so i kind of wish i did wake up a little bit earlier today because um i do want to get ready and like sort my hair out a little bit um and i need to go to get a patch test Whoa. Um, a patch test at some point today for getting my lips dissolved on Tuesday. I don't know whether you guys can even tell that I've got like filler left in it. So it creates a bit more of a shadow here. Um, it doesn't really look as bad on camera. Sometimes in person or in photos, like I can definitely see it. And it's not awful because then I went and spoke to someone else and they thought that I didn't really have any migration. But now I'm a little bit paranoid about it. Um, so I'm just going to get that dissolved and kind of just like have nothing left. I need to leave it for at least two weeks anyway. So I'm going to leave it for a few weeks and just kind of see how I get on. And then I, I might go and get some more um, put in and start fresh. That's the only kind of filler I've had. I've had questions about that before. Because um, I think I have mentioned it previously that obviously I have had lip filler. But it was literally like hardly anything. Like you guys would never have really noticed a lot 
um, and I do talk about it on my stories like when I've had it done in the past so yeah I'm pretty open about it but that's the only thing I've ever had in my face um, but yeah I'm gonna go and get a patch test just to make sure I'm not allergic to the stuff that they use that dissolves the leftover filler like I said yesterday I've got one view in today at 12 and then another one at half one and then I want to try and take some photos and a few outfits before I go for food with a friend at half six. So hopefully my mum can help me. I don't really know where to go. <laughs> like in my area there's not very many pretty kind of places. So it's kind of hard to find like a decent location just to take a few pics. So so a little bit of a rush um me and mum are just heading out to shoot some more photos i've got a couple of outfits we're just going to go and find somewhere to take some before it gets a little bit darker but when i come back i will update you on the flats because we've got a little bit of a story um and then i just need to kind of tidy my room because i've made a little bit of a mess sorting things out and then obviously i'm going out for food tonight so yeah i'm gonna go take some photos and then i'll update you when i'm back ignore my lipstick because it's basically half come off. I need to redo my makeup in a little bit, but I'm just gonna lie down and chat to you and see how long my arm <laughs> can hold this camera up for. Uh, what was even the last thing that I spoke to you guys about? So earlier I went to go and view two flats. Um, yesterday I obviously went to view the house, which it was just a bit too small like nothing particularly wrong like structure wise it was fine but there was some like kind of cracks through i don't know like i don't think they were massive cracks whether it was just like the paint or maybe something in the house kind of moved i think there was a little bit of damp and mold upstairs in one of the bedrooms because it had been vacant for a while so i don't know whether that means anything is kind of wrong but i just didn't really like it and then today i went to view the flat that's very similar to my granddad's so my granddad has recently moved out of like our family childhood kind of home um that was three stories a really big house it had like extensions and stuff he'd done so much work to it and basically my granny has been in hospital for quite a few months she hasn't been very well for a few years she's kind of lost mobility so she can't really hold her weight anymore she had another stroke i think that's why she went into hospital um in the first place because she couldn't use i think it was either one of her arms or like one side of her body um and she was just really struggling to kind of move around because they'd put stair lifts in the house and they basically converted the bottom floor into a flat so that's all they needed to do was kind of stay downstairs but you can only really come into the house from the middle floor and then she still had to kind of shuffle around to use a stair lift to go downstairs so it was just a bit of a pain um and then my auntie was still living at home um but at some point she is going to be moving to america because that's where her husband lives and yeah so i mean a three-story house with one two three four five bedrooms you know like three bathrooms two living rooms two kitchens it just as I don't want to see that house kind of be sold or rented out. Like it's really sad to. I'm gonna get emotional. <laughs> it's really sad to. <sighs> you know that's where we spend Christmases. We have all our big family meals and have, like birthdays and stuff and Sunday lunches all together. So thinking that like in the future that house might be sold or like it's not ours anymore. It's kind of sad. I'm sure some of you guys maybe feel the same way if you've had like a family home or your grandparents home that you know you've kind of grown up go into. Basically tenants had moved out of one of the flats a few months ago and he just thought it best that maybe they move into that flat because it was a three bedroom ground floor flat that would just be a lot easier for them both um and less stressful but obviously with a three-story house that they've had for 30 35 years they have a lot of stuff um that needs to be sorted you know thoroughly cleaned 
Um, but yeah, there's been a lot of work going on in this flat. And there's kind of, along this street, um, there's a lot of blocks of flats. And they're all very, very similar. So I went to view a flat that was basically the same as my granddad's. Like, same kind of layout. Obviously, you've just got to envision, like, everything stripped and started from scratch. But because the flats are quite old, my granddad thinks that they'll need to be, um all rewired throughout it because of the electrics and it's got a really really old boiler that would need to be replaced but other than that there was no like structure issues um but i'm not sure whether it, they they said something about probate the woman didn't really know too much about it bless her because it was a last minute thing that she kind of took over from someone else so she said she was going to give me a ring to let me know a little bit more information so i did really like it but I, I don't know, I'm not. But my granddad was actually interested in it anyway, um, just buying another property to rent out because it's like the same as his. Um, so yeah, either way, I think if I don't really go for that and no one else buys it, my granddad might end up buying it depending on what he wants to offer. Then the second flat that we went to view, online there was actually no photos of the inside of this flat. So there was photos of like the outside kind of building, the little area, like street that it's on. It was like another small block of flats and there was a floor plan. And I did think this was quite like up for cheap um, compared to some others that I've seen. So I did question it and obviously there was no photos, but I thought, you know, it's a two bedroom flat, um, not too far from where I live. Uh, I didn't really know the area too well. It's not the best area to be honest. The guy from the estate agents was so lovely and he did say straight away before we even went into the block of flats. So this is a repossession. I'm just going to warn you now. Um, be prepared because there is still stuff in this flat. And as soon as he said repossession I was like so someone's been evicted and it's being repossessed. And I don't know if you guys have seen the programme that um, it's on all the time at the moment, I was watching it the other day, where basically, like, different places in the UK, people are evicted for not paying, or there's too many people in one flat, or, like, there's a lot of, like, landlord issues, and when it goes through a repossession, there was a lot of episodes that I watched where if someone was being evicted, or they were being kicked out for a particular reason, they absolutely trashed the place on purpose, um, to just make a point, just being a horrible person because they've got to leave and this was exactly what this place was like it was a mess there was like holes in the walls the door had to be obviously ripped off so the actual door in there was like one of those metal ones that they've got to put on there for safety so as soon as i saw that i was like oh my god the floor was a mess there was writing on the walls like it was just disgusting and obviously you've got to look past that and just think of the space but he said that there had already been offers put in that were over 10,000 of the asking price anyway and I wouldn't have been prepared to pay that for that flat because it was, it was a bit small. Um, it was okay uh, but it was a smaller flat and I, you know, I want to live in whatever I buy. I think it would, it would just be way too much work for me like I don't want to move into something like that but yeah I'm gonna basically sort myself out my camera's flashing so I'm gonna change my battery top up my makeup do my hair and find something to wear because I think I'm going for food in like half an hour 45 minutes so I don't actually think I filmed before I left earlier so this is maybe like a little bit of a jump um I thought I don't know I'm gonna have to look back at this footage I don't think I did I think I filmed and I was like gonna touch my makeup up and do my hair but I ended up doing like beachy kind of waves with my beauty works waver I have been out I am back now it is quarter past 10 um I did take my camera with me because it was in my bag from earlier but I wasn't gonna whip it out because I mean me and Molly haven't really seen each other in oh my god years really um I don't even think we've seen each other out and about it's probably been at least like three years but basically we went to school together um we were like kind of friends in school uh drifted a little bit haven't really spoken much in years but 
we do a little bit of a similar thing on instagram and stuff and obviously we've been always supportive of each other but we've just been chatting like a little bit on and off recently um just about random things and i thought like why not just go for a catch up you know see how each other are like just see what's been happening with each other for the past few years and it was really nice actually um i think we got on really well uh it was really nice to just kind of like we said it was like a word from it just like telling each other everything and um, just yeah having a good old natter we had some food at tgi's had some cocktails um but yeah i'm gonna go and kind of take my makeup off and get ready for bed. I'm back in work for the next two days, so I'm not really gonna be vlogging much. I think I'm just gonna end this vlog here. And then, if I am off work for definite next week, I might do like a weekly vlog or a few little ones just to kind of keep you guys updated on what I get up to if anyone is interested. If you do like these kind of videos, please make sure you give them a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments if you do like them, if you have any video suggestions that you kind of want to see. And please subscribe if you haven't already before you go. It would really mean the world to me. And tell your friends I've got a channel, share it about. Just any support is just really, really appreciated. So yeah, I'm going to leave you here. Thank you so much for watching and I shall see you very, very soon. Bye.